Hi everyone, Whiskey 4, Mike Romeo Whiskey here, uh, continuing the little series I've been putting together here for uh, demonstrating the capabilities of the Yaesu FTM 400D and the Yaesu FT1D, the digital analog transceivers. So today I received uh, the SD cards, uh, which you do need to be able to um, utilize sending uh, messages or if you have the uh, uh, the microphone um, that does the uh, takes the pictures. Uh, here we go. It's an additional uh, extra. So you have the camera button and the data transmit button up there, and also the push to talk. And the camera is built in the top there. Um, so I have that hooked up to the FT1D in the data port down here, and we're this is on 147.525 as well as the uh, 400D over there. So what we're going to do is right now we have it in the highest settings that you can have for sending uh, the digital photographs or, uh, which, let's have a look, is currently uh, the size is 320 by 240 and the quality is high. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture actually of uh, the whole uh, of the head unit here of the 400D and then uh, we'll send that to the unit. So here we go we'll uh, take a picture, you'll hear a beep. It's now saving that to the SD card on the FT1D. Now I'm going to hit the data transmit button here and as I do you'll start to see the 400D here receive that. Here we go. So now you can see it's in uh, data receive mode from my handheld, Whiskey 4 Mike Romeo-7. Now this will take um, probably anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds uh, to come down um, but as you'll see we're, we're receiving with the green bar here that's the signal strength and then here is our progress so uh, that'll come down in a second what we'll do is we'll do a couple of experiments here with different um, uh, quality settings and size settings so you know when we get this this will be the highest it can do um, so I think this gives a really good uh, way of just sending photographs, you know, if people don't want to use EasyPal, which is an option. Uh, I know for some local ARES groups, uh, I guess you could use FL Digi uh, with some of the new new modes in there, but they're not going to be um, as high quality as this is going to come. I mean, uh, EasyPal will be higher quality than this, but it also requires a lot of setup um, and uh, tuning to get everything working on that. So we're almost there. We have one more bar to go here, and hopefully we should have our picture. Oh, maybe one more. There we go. There you go. A uh, little blurry. I guess I moved the mic, but um, you, you kind of get the picture. No pun intended. Um, of how that works. So in a second it'll go back. So what I'm going to do now is go back into the uh, FT1D settings here. Uh, select number 11 which is option USB camera and then we're going to change the quality to low there we go and we'll go back hmm. there we go this of course doesn't always seem to work but we'll get that back to where we need to Okay, so we're going to take another picture, see if I can this time uh, hold the camera a little more steady. In fact, why don't I just take a picture of the, the camera, taking a picture of the camera. Here we go. Okay, then we'll transmit that. It's not quite working there, let's try that again. Let's take the picture. Okay, we do a good old fashioned turn it off, turn it back on again. Okay, let's try that one more time. So we get the beep, save to the data card, transmit, there we go. So hopefully this should be a little bit quicker. We has have lowered the uh, the quality. 
So there you go, as before, you can see it's coming in from W4MRW-7, the handheld, and there we go, there's the uh, progress bar starting to, to come on the screen. <clears throat> so I think it's definitely a little quicker than the, the last mode, and we'll see, what, well you won't be able to really tell on the video, but uh, especially as I had a bit of a shaky hand, but I think even low would work uh, quite well. You know, for example, if you're doing windshield service surveys as part of an ABS team, there you go. So you can kind of make it out. So here's the camera with the viewfinder <laughs> or the LCD screen here taking a picture. There we go. Now we're back to to where we were. Uh, so let's just do one more mode here. Uh, we're not going to go through all of them. So we'll go back into settings, USB camera, this time we're going to change the size for, to 160 by 120, which is half of what we were sending before. And what we will do is increase the quality though, because it's going to be small. Go back. picture and transmit it there we go so again it's showing who it's coming from and there goes our progress <coughs> Yeah, almost there. Perfect. So as you can see, I mean the image quality is much smaller. Um, it really depends on what you want to use it for. Um, I don't think it really took that long to do the larger 320 by 240 at the uh, highest quality. So, so there you go. Um, oh, for those who maybe don't know, here we go. Here's uh, the SD card slot. Right there, you can just see the card sticking out, and the port to the left is the uh, the data, which, if you had the mic on this particular unit, would plug into there for doing the uh, the camera. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this, and if you have a FTM 400D, and you're in the um, Washington D.C. metro area, then come up on 147.525 and uh, I'm usually monitoring that in the evenings and the mornings uh, I don't have this in my uh, truck yet um, hope, hopefully we'll move it there soon um, but I do will also have the handheld up with me so um, if you're in the area then give me a shout okay this is W4MRW and 73's